Hey guys, what's cracking? Get breaking news. Um, I am officially accepted into the Amazon uh, program. So there'll be a link on the very top of the description page. It says Amazon.com forward slash uh, shop forward slash can't kill me. Uh, you guys go on to the Amazon link. Uh, that's what it looks like. Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash can't kill me. And you guys go see it. Go and uh, see all the tools and stuff I put up here for you guys. So you guys click on it. And if and I make a small commission from it. And if you guys don't see anything you guys want. So say I click on the shop rags. And I don't want that. You guys can continue shopping whatever you guys want. want. Um, so say if I want... Uh, let's see. Say I want some WD-40. And I click and buy that. I still get a slight commission because you went through my shop to uh, buy this uh, WD-40. Alright. Catch you guys later. Um, peace out. Have fun. Hope you enjoy the videos. Alright, got the screws cleaned up. With the bolts. Well, I'm not using bolts to run it down. What I'm doing is holding it. So the gasket and plate quits moving. Uh, this, yeah, this is a hundred, what does the book say? Hundred and ninety because the front ones are hundred, or ninety. So a hundred pounds more in the back. One ninety. Hundred ninety inch pounds. And that's the only one I had for quarter inch drive. Can you guys believe that? And I found it. Oh, crap. I forgot to install the plug. This is going to be a prick to come back out. I didn't know you guys tell me.
And I'm going to set up the tool so we can check this end play. Alright guys, checking the end play. This is the most sketchy setup, but what do you expect when you have a garage fire? As I've always said, and my grandfather always said, make what you got work. Okay. Now I'm assuming this thing's got about 8,000 employees. Yeah, close, darn close to eight thou. Yeah, eight nine. On the high side of it. Yeah, eight nine thou. Yeah, about eight, eight and a half, nine thousand. All right, let me set up for the next one. All right, that needle is sitting right closely to zero. And I'm reading, my gauge reading about 10. About 8. Um, yeah, let me get a filler gauge. And let me go down and check, crank and check it. Like what I'm reading. It looks a lot. Here's an eight thou. Yeah, it's 8,000, right on the high side. By the time this motor ever needs any work, it'd be blowing up again anyways. So it's right at 8,000. It's on the high side specs, but I'm going to leave it. No point in trying to shim it. I could shim it and bring it back in the spec, but. Yeah, I'm not worried about that.
It's like the crank's 8,000. So both of them got 8,000. I mean, we expect it's got wear. So, we to just call it good right there, guys. I'm not going to screw it. I'm not worried about it. It's sitting right at 8,000. I'm not even going to try to attempt to break this apart and redo it again. It's not worth it. Sitting right at 8,000, I'm going to leave it. No, we're when to leave things alone, guys. Okay. Now what I'm doing is lining up my time marks again. Yep, we're perfect up and down. I still haven't figured out where this thing came from. We do need to take this out. I don't know, 5 sixteenths to fight. And the 5 sixteenths. And I don't have one in this toolbox. What do I? Yep, I got a 5 sixteenths, so I just need to write you. Okay, it should be an Allen key you could show me that hole. Right there, and I got too big of an Allen key. Right there.
it should be. So six chains. All right, guys. Back to reassembling the motor. You guys seen that first? If you see that first video, suffer from the rust for this, then you know this is going to be a winner. So let me just wipe down these rings after filing them. Get any dirt, grit, or anything off of them. This is acetone I'm just using. Take your, uh, I don't know, band, put that on first. Compression band. Okay, that's on. Now, on this, you'll see an L shape like I was telling you guys. That'd be scraper, I believe it should be. Oh, that's what I'm. Yeah, that's scraper. Now, you want that L. You want it to look like that when you put it on. You guys can go buy the tool if you want. I have never 
spot the tool. Don't need it. Next should be around it. You see a round, rounded part here? That'd be a compression. Which round part? It'll basically be rounded here, facing to the top. That's the normal how I do it. Back ring is even. That'd be a scraper rings even with the back. Combustion and oil on this side. There's so many ways you can do it. I don't even want to hear it. You guys do what you want to do. I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. And I'm hoping my tool still works. And that would be a no, guys. Do not survive the fire. Might. Nope, she just broke. Help. Yep. Got another one that went through the fire. Let's see if she's in good. If it works, it's going to be a miracle, guys. Alright guys, I got a letter stamp here. I'm going to stamp this cap. Just in case, you know, stupid crap. Maybe. Marker. 
Yeah, it's going to do that. Alright. So on these, uh, the previous video, you see me put this clip down, face them upwards. So I did fix that. So. Now when we install this, this has got an F and there's a notch. Them two has to face the flywheel side or the magnet flywheel side of the motor. The side without nothing goes towards your PTO side. That's what so let's uh, get this piston. I'm gonna keep the cap on because I'm gonna lay that. Maybe. I'm going to use a cap to hold this. So I can get this uh, stupid, uh, what, what you call it, on. Uh, rain compressor on it. Now there is a uh, long, there is this longer here than it is here. The short side always face down. Can't believe it. Frick still works as the fire. Hi, girl. Okay. And we'll wipe up the bore. I just use uh, motor oil, what I've always used. You guys can use assembly lube to put the piston in, but I'll always use motor oil. guys do you and I'll do me. Okay. Make sure the F is facing. And I just have a wooden ham hammer. That easy, folks. Oh, and if you guys are noticing the, there's something different with this block, well, I was waiting during that week. I ended up blo uh, painting the block. Oh, and if you guys really want to know something cool, I know it's off topic of what we're doing. My dad noticed this and he pointed it out to me. 
See, see my baby girl? She lays wherever I'm at. If I'm in the house all day, she'll lay on the porch all day. If I'm in the garage, she'll lay in the garage. If I'm out in the yard working, she'll come out in the yard working. She's attached to me. I never noticed until my dad mentioned something to me about it. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I was bored one day and I decided to paint the block. So, yeah. Kind of happens when you guys get bored. Except for when you're just watching money flying out the door. Because every minute this block is sitting in his garage with less money I'm making. Even though I'm not charging this dude a lot of money to do this work. But I haven't been paid. Yeah, put down in the comments how much do you think I'm charging this dude to rebuild his motor. I tell you guys what, I'm not paying by the hour. I'll tell you that right now. This job ain't getting paid by the hour. Yeah, I can tell you guys that much. This job is not getting paid by the hour. Guys, my LCD is kicking in. If I don't do this, it's gonna drive me nuts, guys. Okay, now I feel better. Yep, this job is not paying by the hour. Because of the way circumstance went down. And I see my mark there. Should go dipper. And it goes dipper, then that, then that. Right? Looks about right. Okay, we'll run them without the washers uh, behind it. Now this part here, I will put cam lube on this. Now if you guys wonder why I'm not miking these bearings, <laughs> before I had the uh, crank uh, spray weld, I had the crank spray weld.